Hey, Gemini. Oh, I don't know why I said Gemini. That's weird. I'm actually drawing for a zodiac sign to read for at this time. See what spirit give me. Wonder if it is. Oh, that is weird. That is weird. Hey, Gemini. <laughs> that was really weird. I don't know. For some reason, I felt Gemini in my energy. Okay. Well, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising signs. There's got to be something in this reading that spirit really wants to tell you guys. Um, that was really strange. Well, I'm going to take a look here and see from your point of view. I'm going to see things from your person's point of view, how you guys both think and feel about each other right now or your situation, the energies of the connection and where it's going. I will clarify some of it, but just keep in mind, this is a general reading, Gemini. So, of course, it's not going to resonate with everybody. If you need a personal reading from me, if this is your energy, I'm strongly picking up. So I have no control over that. Just uh, if you want to reach out to me to know more about your situation, see what the spirit wants to tell you when it comes to you and your person, how they think and feel about you. Next best steps forward. Just email me. I am available. My email's in the description box below this video. I do have a lover special for you guys to take advantage of. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. That's so interesting. Gemini, why did I feel your energy strongly? Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. So what's going on in this? How are you feeling right now, Gemini? Let's see overall energy of this connection this time, please. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Signs. This could be someone new. This could be someone from your past recent or distant or this could be someone who's coming in okay maybe there's a message here about your next relationship wow gemini keep an open mind all right your soul may may differ from your usual type and expectations this relationship here gemini could go to heights new heights this is it could lead to marriage Okay, we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This connection here could actually either, uh, you know, simply it says engagement. You, you could get, you know, they could propose. But I'm getting here, it, it's <laughs> give this relationship a chance kind of thing. You know, there's someone here who may not you may not be i don't know it's not your usual type someone who doesn't look like your exes someone who you don't typically go for there's something about this person that you're kind of like mm, i'm not sure i don't know it doesn't necessarily have to be physical looks it could be their job you know it could be you know maybe where they're at in life where they live you know all of that you know it's just it's, not what you're used to, or maybe this isn't something that you, you, anything you could have imagined this person, be. I am getting your Gemini, this is someone who you would end up being in a long-term commitment with, okay, you are, this person is going to feel very strongly about you, they do actually, Okay, you may have actually been in a commitment with them where they actually want to see if you want to date exclusively or be in a full, you know, long-term commitment with them. I'm getting here. This person is serious. Their intentions here are serious. And the strategy is what's going on. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here what's going on for you and this person, Gemini. How do you currently see your situation with them right now? Okay. How do you currently see your situation with this person? It can also just start it off that way. You didn't see yourself maybe falling for them. You were just maybe talking to them. You didn't really expect anything to really happen. Sure, they're maybe charming, interesting funny, okay, friendly, but a part of you is kind of like, mm, I don't know, or at least in, in, in the beginning, initially, I'm kidding here, mm, mm, I don't know, you know, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep an open mind, see what happens, sure, why not, let's do it, 
And that's kind of how you guys started before with one another. Okay, so some of you guys could have met this person online. Some of you, this person just kind of ran into you, bumped into you, or someone here tried to set you up with this person. Okay, so Gemini, you have a page of pentacles. I get that you're kind of interested. Okay, well, so if someone here, Gemini, I'm seeing here, you can be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, and you have those signs in your chart. You know what I'm getting right now is that you guys are communicating, or there were a lot of communications in the recent or distant past. Most of it, I don't know why I'm getting here. Either you work with this person, you know this person from work, or you guys used to talk a lot about work a lot. A lot of pentacles here. You can actually see your this person as someone who you could partner up with. I'm kind of getting a power couple. Okay, you have the Six of Pentacles with the Six of Wands for how you're currently seeing your situation with them or are dead. There was a lot of consistency from this person, but you were wanting, I'm kind of getting from you, Gemini, you wanted to slow things down or you were starting to feel like I can't, I don't really want to get my hopes up, but I'm starting to fall for this person and what they're about. You really appreciate this person's effort or did. Okay, because I'm getting here, this person's really into you. Like they wanted you to, you know, remove all your other options. They wanted you to just focus on them because they were really prioritizing you and their life where they wanted to. You have a sense of sadness, sorrow, grief, despair, regret for some reason, Gemini. I'm really picking up for some of you. Some of you here, something here happened. You found your person, but someone here may have self-sabotaged. You may have been trying to reach out to see if you can fix, see if you guys can reconcile, see if you guys can work things out, okay? Because you made investment into this. You invested in this person. What I'm really getting here is, Gemini, In the initially in the beginning, I'm kind of getting like a timeline here. Initially, it was this person maybe. Okay, both of you guys were kind of iffy about this connection. You saw this person like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll give this person a chance. They seem interesting. And I'm not going to lie here. I'm kind of getting here. You really enjoy the attention you were getting from them. It was, you know, very flattering. That this person could even be interested in you or interested in you that much. And, you know, it was like a breath of fresh air. You know, it was very refreshing here that someone was coming out, no mind games. You know, they were just telling it like it is. They were saying, hey, like, this is, this is what I want. This is what I'm, this is what I'm looking, this is what I'm looking for. You could have told this person that. But somewhere along the way, things got kind of confusing. I'm getting here someone started to stumble a bit, whether that be you or this person. While the two of you were maybe just happy-go-lucky, like really enjoying getting to know each other, having a great time, I feel like both of you at one point kind of felt like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. This is getting pretty deep now. You know, the feelings that I have is like, whoa, I never thought that I fall for this person or I fall as deeply as I do. Someone's trying to catch themselves right now and be like, okay, maybe I'm all in my head about this. This is just too good to be true. There's something wrong. I'm getting your very strong energy here where one of you kind of sabotage this connection because there's some regrets here. Maybe you said no, you turned this person down. Maybe you said you were available, you couldn't do this. You just want a short term or, you know, you really wasn't looking for something serious, whether that you be that, you be the person that said it or them. Or there's something here that someone said or did that made this other person question the entire relationship. 
page of pentacles with the five of cups i get that you kind of want to make up you kind of want to text this person you want to see this person you want to talk it out gemini but you feel like you've also tried or did your best here and you don't want to like you know it's like that further embarrassment here it's like i'm not really one to chase you know what i mean and it's like a little bit of like it kind of hurts my ego again a little bit you know that's um <clears throat> deflating my ego to chase or have to beg or have to explain but in a way this person also feels like with the seven of pentacles and the six of wands like i have a good thing here i don't want to give this up I don't want to walk away from this. You know, you find that there's still, like, a lot of potential. This relationship holds a lot of potential. I'm going to see things from your person's point of view. Assign the roles as a best fit for you, but that's the energy I'm, it's really coming through right now. Overall, we have strategy. So there is, you know, someone trying to... Think of what to say to convince the other person that it's safe, that this is what they mean. And someone here is like wanting to see you, you know, they're trying to maybe devise a, a way for you to, to uh, well, we'll clarify strategy here, but that's coming through. I, I've definitely here see someone like, how do I get this person back? How do I see them again? How do I go back to how things used to be? That's the type of energy here. But Gemini, I feel like you found your person. But some of you may could be feeling like it was a little too late. Okay? Or you want this person to step it up. Somebody, somebody here was wanting an apology. Or did. Or maybe was actually trying to apologize. Okay, so let me see. This is on one side. Of the connection let's see what's going on, on the other side of the connection if you resonated with that um just stick on that side let's see here what the other side is feeling and again you could be on the left or you could be on the right okay what does spirit want you to know when it comes to this situation gemini how does this person currently think and feel about you i feel like there's something also going on here financially you may feel like I don't know, someone here feels like one person is maybe more well-established than the other. They may hold a higher position. They may earn more, okay? Or you feel like this person and you could have something um, very stable in the future, you know? This is a like a really good 50-50 partnership, you guys both kind of want to help each other out but i really feel like this could be a power couple you're also maybe hoping you could help this person out um but someone here maybe wants help financially or both feel like you guys can both com combine your incomes and do something together either now or in the future maybe you guys both feel like hey why don't we just since we're dating we're talking Maybe this is just something you guys are just thinking about or them thinking about. It's definitely in the energy here. It's like, why why are we paying rent for two separate places? Why don't we just live under the same roof and, you know, split the bills kind of thing, you know? It could be dealing with, here you guys are, it could be dealing with another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting that's your energy here, Gemini. You're looking at this situation logically, practically. Will this person be it? Can this person? I mean, I feel like a, a lot of it has to do. I don't really like to mix, you know, money too much in the love ratings. But hey, let's be real, right? It is a huge factor in anyone's life. But I don't feel like that's what you care about. It's definitely not your number one, like, um, requirement that this person makes a, has a, you know, huge money bag or, you know, but there's a lot of pentacles here. But what it's coming through right now is stability. You feel like you can have something long term with this person. Okay. Yeah. Four of Wands just flipped over. 
I feel like some of you guys may have actually. Okay, let's take a look here and see how this person's feeling about you. Okay, how does this person feel about Gemini? I feel, oh, Seven of Swords, Deception, Manipulation, not telling, maybe something here happened, Gemini, something here happened, okay, yeah, the, the energies on the other side is totally different, and I feel like that's why I was picking up someone here is in regrets, they feel like they sabotaged this connection, or maybe you might self-sabotage this connection because some of you may feel like this is too good to be true. They have the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Cups. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, someone with strong fire and water in their chart. I also saw air, and there's definitely earth, so it's everybody's pretty much all in here. Um, this is a general reading, of course. Okay, you know what's going on here, Gemini? <clears throat> this is not anyone new. It's not coming through as anyone new. You were dealing with this person in the recent or distant past. You did something, you said something, or it could be vice versa, you know flip the rules as need be. But this is an energy here with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Like, Gemini, you were their person. You were their total wish fulfillment. This person, this person does not wear their heart on their sleeve. I'm actually getting this person, someone very logical, keeps their feelings to themselves, but was very um, caring towards you. You felt it. You saw you, that Six of Wands energy. You're like, I like this, you know? They're very consistent. They're pouring into me. They're showing me attention. They're making you feel like you're on top of the world, like there is something good here. But you were holding back the page of pentacles here. You were giving a little bit. Okay, you weren't very sure about this. But yeah, you were still returning. There was like almost like, you know, you, you give some, they take some, you you know, they send a message, you send a message. There was no like ghosting and, you know, coming back and texting after like weeks and weeks and weeks. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like when you guys were dating, talking. It was just very consistent. Some of you guys felt like, whoa, 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 slow it down. This is way too much. It was going way too fucking fast. This is too much too soon. I feel like someone here could be sabotaging or have already. The person's energy right now is they don't believe something you said. Maybe you've mentioned something about a child, about your work, about school, about your money, about your parents, about your ex, you know, just bring other factors into this connection and they're feeling like maybe you're not as into them as they are into you. You are their total wish fulfillment. This person is so attracted to you. The King of Cups with the Knight of Wands. I know this person is definitely, I mean, they do have player-like tendencies. Don't get me wrong. This person like played a few women, men. Okay, they kept things casual before with other people, but with you, they found something here with you that they don't want with anybody else, but you scare them. You scare them so much because they actually want to let down their guard. There's something about you that makes this person feel like you could be it. Like they want to see where things could lead. You know, they're not trying to play games with you. Knight of Wands is an energy here, of course. It's like very in and out. But I kind of get here and maybe that's what you, they think you want to keep your options open. You kind of give this person a feeling like you may have a fear of intimacy or fear of commitment. Okay, there's something you're going on with your past that's making you not want to actually give this relationship a chance. 
And so this person now, based off of your last conversation, I'm not seeing the tower, but I'm getting here. This person's really disappointed by something. Okay, again, this could be you. And someone here is like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm moving forward, turning back my back on this situation right now. And I, I kind of get this detachment feeling that they have to you now. They're not responding as much anymore. Hell, they might not even be saying anything at all. There could be little to no communications presently. But secretly, your person still wants to work on this. They're also throwing themselves heavily into work right now, okay? They they feel like you weren't being completely honest with them. They feel like you were deceptive in a way where you could have found this person deceptive. But this person is really wanting to work on things with you. You guys may have a history together. Some of you guys may have dated before or maybe in a commitment with them or led to some form of commitment or feelings of a very strong commitment was about to develop between the two of you. They feel like you're their soulmate. Like you guys have a similar past or history or experience. Okay, you remind them of someone they maybe they dated or there's just you kind of bring them like, you know, that inner child, that inner youthful child, that you know, that playfulness out of them okay some of you may actually have children together you guys may have known each other when you were younger when you were children someone here was not really ready for a commitment at the time i am seeing here with strategy keep an open mind gemini with engagement this person even despite them having turned their backs on you maybe being a little bit cold to you now a little bit distant they still actually secretly hope that this person that they you and them come back together Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. Wow, Gemini. I haven't gotten a reading like this. We keep having Seven of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. That's the engagement. That is the commitment. The higher level of commitment here. I see here you and this person. You both want to be with each other. They still want to be with you. They are acting like they're not, they're, they're no longer interested, that this will never work. I mean, their backs are turned to the situation at this time, but they're lying to themselves because they've fallen for you deeply. They've fallen for you deeply, Gemini. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. They feel like they, all their, um, okay, so this is a little interesting here. They feel like all their efforts made in this relationship was made in vain. Like they really try to go over and beyond to try to prove to you like, you know, they they were into you. But they did it also like, I don't know, maybe some of them they didn't think one of you or both of you. See, we have a keep an open mind here. Someone here lying to themselves and getting your person here. You know, they were still, there's a lot of back and forth. You could tell, like, they were still pouring into you, texting you back, keeping you updated on what they were up to, what they were doing, kind of sharing a part of their lives with you. You guys may have hooked up. There's a lot of attraction between the two. You could tell this person was really into you. But somebody here was like, you know, I, I'm not sure. I'm not ready. I don't know if I want to be in a relationship This because I have work, because I have school, because I have family, my ex, you know, coming up with not reasons or excuses. I feel like they were valid reasons or, you know, valid points. But this person, nine of cups and six of cups, king of cups, this person fell in love with you. And, you know, you can't really logically explain your emotions. Okay. You can't control what you feel. This person has very strong feelings for you right now. They're in their head like, why is it so hard for me to move on? Why is it so hard for me to leave this situation? Because before, when they leave someone, they leave them at a drop of a hat. They don't look back, you know? I feel like there could be some blockage here. You guys could have gotten into an argument or a fight. This person doesn't know what to do at this time, but they do still want a commitment. They see themselves coming back to you, but they don't know here if they still have a chance. Because there is something here that they feel guilty about. 
Okay, you guys both, I mean, there's sadness, sorrow, grief, despair, regret. And there's sadness, sorrow, grief, despair, regret on both sides. Like, both of you guys feel like this was a... This is a connection miss. Like, both of you guys may have trouble expressing your emotions. Like, being completely, you know, naked with each other on, like, how much you guys really, like, are hurt by this. Both of you guys are probably playing, like, you know, I'm not too affected. Fine. I'm going to move on. I'm okay. But they, um... They're telling themselves they're going to move on. They might have even told you. Look at that. The fool. Moving on. Next chapter. New beginning. Okay. But with the two of swords, they're finding themselves at crossroads here, Gemini. I wouldn't be tricked or fooled by this. This person and you do have unfinished business. They feel like they have unfinished business here with you. Okay. Tell me about this king. Yeah. Six of cups. There's a very strong attachment here. Okay, you guys still feel very much, even despite everything that's happened, the Six of Cups soulmate, deep soulmate connection. Though, yes, I'm seeing here a little bit of toxicity happened. Okay, but you guys, this, this connection, you guys both can't escape it. You guys both can't stop thinking about each other. I get here, they really want to talk to you. But it's like, who's going to budge and who's going to break that silence first? Wow. Get a personal reading if you guys want to. Yeah, you guys are meant to be. You guys both want to make this offer to each other. This is kind of cute. <laughs> you guys both want to see each other. Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords. This could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They want to talk to you about something. They really do want to work this out. They really do want to work this out. They want to see here. It's like Gemini, okay. Are you willing to throw all of it? Are you willing to walk away from whatever it is and really, truly, you know, go all in? Go all in with me. Okay, there's no more of that wishy-washy stuff where you could be telling this person, feeling, telling that person that, you know? No more options, you know? It's just me and you, babe. Like, you really go at it. There's so much synchronicities. You guys are mirroring. But the Seven of Swords energy that I'm getting right now is both of you guys are not emitting to each other how much and how deeply affected you guys are about this connection one card for the seven of swords another for the seven of swords for that other person please <clears throat> what's the deception here that you guys both have the king of swords both playing it very coy being cold not communicating acting like you guys aren't aren't bothered unfazed by this moving on you know, over it, but they're not, you guys both have, look at how many sync, we have six of cups on both sides, you guys both have very strong memories, good memories from the past, you made this person so happy, okay, you guys both feel like you both invested into each other, seven pentacles on both sides, And no wonder I called your name before even your card flew out. There's something your spirit wants you guys to know. You guys both feel, I feel like this is a very strong soulmate, twin flame love. Okay. You guys both want to pour into each other. This is a very strong soulmate connection. What the hell is going on? Okay. Some of you is someone with um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. An Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, they're all in here right now. This message here, though, I am seeing is trying to get to somebody. Gemini, I'm going to end this here. Let me know. Comment below or reach me for a personal reading. Uh, my email is going to be in the description box below this video. I have a lover special for only $33.33. I don't even know what to title this reading. Yeah, you two are coming back together. They are thinking about you right now. They're acting like they're unbothered, unfazed. No, not thinking of you. Moved on. But deep inside, they... They, they also feel bad that they lied to you about something. They said something here to you that they didn't really mean. But it was really just to, it's because of their pride or their ego. They said something here. They also was trying to maybe do this to test you to see your resolve or your reaction. 
I don't know why that's coming through, but you are this person's wish fulfillment. Like, so much, so early on, they knew that this, you, you were going to, like, they wanted to just pour into you, like, strategizing how to get you back, or how do they want, like, yeah, this is interesting. I'm going to get this up for to you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye, Gemini. Thank you guys for your time. I hope this helped.